everyone welcome to my youtube channel so right now i'm going to be doing the nutrisystem kickstart kit that i purchased off amazon first i'm going to start with the unboxing portion i'm going to do a day by day of what everything looks like when it's open how it tastes things like that and then at the end i'm going to give you my final results and my conclusion so the reason that I really wanted to try this kit, number one, I'm stuck at home and I'm very bored. Number two, I went on to Amazon looking for snacks because our grocery store is completely empty and we don't really have that much stuff here to eat that is healthy. Even the produce section at my grocery store was very bare. I did stumble upon this little kit off of Amazon. So I got five breakfast lunch, dinners, and snacks, I thought was a decent deal to feed just me. That way everything else in the kitchen for five days could go to my husband and son. As well as I am genuinely curious on how well it would work. I still have 10 pounds that I gained from pregnancy that I would like to lose. I only gained 10. I am off the blood pressure medication that they had me on after birth. Initially after birth, I lost eight pounds. And then when they put me on the medication full time, I gained it all back. And since stopping the medication, I have not lost any. So hopefully this will help. And as you can see, everything is just laid out on top. Okay, so everything is out of the box. I have it laid in their respective piles. And at the bottom, I found this pamphlet. It says that you start with your Nutrisystem breakfast. For a morning snack, you have a Nutrisystem Turbo Shake, which if I'm not mistaken, that would be a protein shake. And I have my own protein powder that I drink on occasion. So I'll just either supplement that or a, pr a protein bar that I own. Then you have your Nutrisystem lunch, your Nutrisystem snack in the afternoon, and then at dinner time you eat their dinner. They also suggest that you drink 64 fluid ounces of water and that you have four servings of vegetables. As far as drinks go, you are allowed to have, I say allowed, but if you're going to follow the guidelines that they give you, you are allowed to have black coffee, black green or herbal tea, diet soda, iced tea, unsweetened, seltzer water, plain or flavored. As far as water goes, I will show you the water jug that I drink out of every day, which is what I recommend everyone buy because it's amazing. It's the water jug that I will be drinking out of, it is 84 fluid ounces and I, I drink this whole thing every day, or I try to, because I got it on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. So yeah, highly recommend this water jug. The first option we have is an apple strudel bar. It is 160 calories, three grams of fat, three grams of fiber, and seven grams of protein. Maple brown sugar oatmeal, 150 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, and 4 grams of protein. Granola cereal, 160 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 4 grams of fiber, and 5 grams of protein. A peanut butter granola bar, 160 calories, 6 grams of fat, 3 grams of fiber, and 6 grams of protein. Last breakfast we have is a double chocolate muffin. It is 180 calories. 6 grams of fat, 10 grams of fiber, and 7 grams of protein. It's pretty small. It's probably like that big. The first lunch we have is a trail mix bar. 200 calories, 8 grams of fat, 6 grams of fiber, and 12 grams of protein. Home style chicken noodle soup. It is 120 calories, 3 grams of fat, and 10 grams of protein. A chocolate peanut butter protein bar. It is 200 calories, 8 grams of fat, 4.5 grams of saturated fat, and 11 grams of protein. It's a white cheddar mac and cheese. It is 220 calories, 5 grams of fat, 3 grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. Cheddar broccoli rice. This is 20 calories, 3 grams of fat, 4 grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. Milk chocolate pretzels. They are a good source of fiber, apparently. 140 calories, 6 grams of fat, 4.5 grams of saturated fat, and 5 grams of protein. Coconut almond bar, 150 calories, 7 grams of fat, 5 grams of saturated fat, and 7 grams of protein. A dark chocolate and sea salt nut bar. This one is 190 calories, 14 grams of fat, 13 grams of saturated fat, and 8 grams of fiber. It's vanilla shortbread cookies. 150 calories, 6 grams of fat, 3.5 grams of saturated fat, and 6 grams of protein. Chocolate chip cookies, 140 calories, 6 grams of fat, 3.5 grams of saturated fat, and 7 grams of protein. So first we have the chicken pot pie, 250 calories, 10 grams of fat, 
2 grams of fiber and 12 grams of protein. I have rotini and meatballs. This one is 220 calories, 6 grams of fat, 4 grams of fiber, and 15 grams of protein. I have meatballs and marinara sauce. 160 calories, 7 grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein. And this is one of those things that I would definitely have to add a couple servings of veggies with because I'm not just going to eat like meatballs. This just sounds very boring. Lasagna and meat sauce. 260 calories, 10 grams of fat, 4 grams of fiber, and 15 grams of protein. Chili with beans, this is a spicy chili. It's 230 calories, 8 grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein. Okay, so that is everything that comes in the box. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck. And I'm still not hungry. Shocker, I never eat breakfast really. That's another good reason that I really wanted to try this because I wanted to try and make myself more hungry in the morning. So for breakfast, I chose this apple strudel bar. That's what it looks like. Let's see. Mmm. I'm going to brew myself a cup of coffee. Inside that black coffee, I'm going to put one stevia packet. So now it is time for my morning snack. I went with a chocolate protein shake today and I'm just going to mix it with water because I'm not sure what the Nutrisystem one makes you mix it with, but most of the time it's either water or milk. Now moving on to lunch. For my two servings of vegetables, I'm having one serving of corn and one serving of broccoli. And then I'm going to have that alongside of the white cheddar mac and cheese. This was really good. It kind of just tasted like a tiny bit healthier than like a Kraft mac and cheese. For my afternoon snack, chocolate chip cookies. They tasted like sugar-free chocolate chip cookies. There was nothing very special about those. And for dinner, I decided to have carrots and mushrooms roasted in the oven for my vegetables. I just put a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder on those to try and give them some flavor and I roasted those at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes until they were soft and I ate that with the rotini and meatballs. It was a bit bland so I added some black pepper to the pasta but other than that it was really great. All right, so here are my daily totals for my Apple Watch with my movement and all of that and as well as my workout for the day. This is from my fitness pal, which is an app that I have on my phone. You can also do it on the website. So I entered everything that I ate, even my water, total of 1,026 calories, which is pretty low compared to what I usually eat, 1,200 to 1,400. Put that at the end of each day and feel free to pause the screen and read over that if you're one of those people like me that are super interested in calories and all the nutrients and things like that. Y'all are really gonna see how much of a creature of habit I am. So I'm starting off with my black coffee and stevia. Today I did the peanut butter breakfast bar, still working up to get an appetite in the morning. This one was really good, but so stinking sweet. I'm not used to eating things that taste that sweet in the morning. And you know, good old morning snack. I had the vanilla shake today. Vanilla, to be honest with the water, tastes better than it does with milk. So saved myself some calories there. So now it's time for lunch and I highly recommend if y'all don't have a kitchen scale to buy one. It makes it so much easier to get an accurate serving size. So the spinach is 85 grams per serving. So all you have to do is put 85 grams right on there and then you have your exact serving size. I just cooked spinach with a little bit of water and a few seasonings that I like which are garlic powder, onion powder, and Cajun. The Cajun does have some salt in it, so I went very light-handed with that because I didn't want to overdo the salt content. I just cooked that down because it's much easier for me to eat cooked spinach that has a little bit of flavor in it than eat spinach that is raw. And I ate the rest of the leftover corn from yesterday. I just measured it out on my scale again, and I threw a little bit of lemon pepper on top of that, which is zero calories. I had that alongside of the broccoli cheese rice, I think it's called. That one was really good, but it tasted very healthy. I love rice, but that wasn't like white rice out of my rice cooker kind of rice, if you know what I mean. But it wasn't bad. 
For our afternoon snack, I went with the vanilla shortbread cookies. This, so far, is my absolute favorite. They taste like the cookies you get around Christmas in the little tin, and they're so good. You can tell they have fake sugar in them, but not in a bad way. And for dinner, I went ahead and made two servings of broccoli and topped that with the meatballs that said they were spicy and they're totally not. So I went ahead and added some sriracha, just the tiniest bit because it says zero calories. So I don't think that really matters. So it's a little bit of sriracha on there just to add a little bit more flavor so it's not so bland. Once I had everything entered and got a look at the calories, I was really shocked to see that the daily total was under a thousand. And I'm not gonna lie, I really felt it the next morning when I tried to do my workout. I had very, very little energy, but at the same time, I was so full at the end of the day, I did not want any food. Well, good morning, everyone. Today, I'm actually not starting with coffee. Crazy, right? So I started off with the granola cereal and one cup of almond milk. Honestly, way too much almond milk for that amount of cereal, but it was very good. And of course, my morning snack. Okay, so for lunch, I decided to do the homestyle chicken soup with sauteed vegetables, which my two servings are one serving of mushrooms and one serving of spinach. And I just went ahead and I just sauteed those up in a little bit of water just so they wouldn't stick to the pan. And of course, I did my basic three seasoning combo. And then I decided at lunchtime that I was actually going to probably pass out from caffeine withdrawal. So I decided to make the classic cup of coffee with stevia. So there's my veggies. I just added up the seasoning. And then once the mushrooms were almost done, I added the spinach to that and then a little bit of black pepper. All right, here's my completed lunch. So this soup looks absolutely disgusting. It is not appealing to look at whatsoever, but it actually is probably one of the best lunch foods thus far. It was really good. For my snack, I chose the coconut almond bar. This was pretty good. The coconut taste was really there and I enjoyed it, but I love coconut. For dinner, I did two servings of green beans as well as the lasagna. I really enjoyed the lasagna. I thought it was very tasty. And for seasoning, I just put on this rub. I'm not sure if you can get this everywhere. I live in Hawaii, so it was at my local grocery store. But it is so good. It says rub, but honestly, I put it on everything. And it's only one calorie per serving. So I probably put like four calories worth of seasoning on there. So in total, I was still pretty low on calories today, even though I felt like I ate a ton. And I was so full to the point that it was actually hard to eat dinner. As well as this morning when I did my workout, I did it right when I woke up. It was so difficult to focus that I can only get about 20 minutes of workout in before that I was just over and I needed to eat. Good morning everyone, welcome to day four. Today I'm having the muffin and a cup of coffee. This was pretty good, it tasted a lot like fiber. Having my morning snack shake. And for lunch, I had the trail mix bar. I was getting really behind with eating, so I did not have any veggies with this. I spent the whole day cleaning my house, so I kind of lost track of time. For my afternoon snack, I had the dark chocolate and sea salt bar, and these tasted just like the Nature Valley granola bars. I forget which one it is. And of course, Jinx always has to inspect my food. For dinner, I had roasted asparagus and baby carrots with seasoning on them and the chili that claims it's spicy, but it's 100% not spicy. So I ended up adding some sriracha to this chili to make it much better. I also had a LaCroix with my dinner, which is a zero calorie sparkling water. So today I didn't do any exercise. I spent all day cleaning. I had a good bit of calories today. It was over a thousand, so I was actually feeling pretty great. For breakfast today, I had the maple oatmeal and a cup of black coffee, of course. And as you can see, my husband has bought quite a few pizzas. Trying to torture me? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> 
and then I had my chocolate protein shake and then we went on a social distancing walk because we kind of felt like we were going a little crazy and then we spotted a park and got really excited because we thought it was open and nobody was there but no it was closed so after I got home, I went ahead and ate my lunch, which was the chocolate peanut butter bar. I really enjoyed the texture of this one. It was really chewy and delicious. And for my snack, I had the milk chocolate flavored pretzels, which honestly, best snack of all of them. They tasted more like milk chocolate covered cookies, which I'm all about. Kind of like a Girl Scouts cookie. So for dinner tonight, I had the last thing that was available, which was a chicken pot pie. And guys... This was my absolute favorite dinner. Looks horrible. Definitely looks like an MRE, but here's the proof. It was gone, I'm not even kidding, in like three and a half minutes. So while I roasted up some vegetables because I still had to eat four servings of veggies, I just sat there and drank a LaCroix. For my vegetables tonight, I roasted one serving of cherry tomatoes, one serving of baby carrots, and two servings of mushrooms. So hey guys, I am literally sitting in my bed and I'm recording this just to give you my final thoughts. I am literally almost done editing this video and I started the video in an office shirt and I'm ending it in an office shirt so I feel like this is just super fitting. I didn't feel like putting on makeup, I'm just gonna film this on my camera real quick and get it put in here. But it is still Friday, I just finished eating my veggies. And I wanted to give you my final thoughts on the Nutrisystem program thing. So, first off, would I do it again? The answer to that is 100% yes, but I would probably do it before I had a big event. I have a military ball, if it doesn't get canceled, coming up in May that that would be great for. And situations like that. As far as weight goes, I am going to weigh myself in the morning when I get up. That's the most like accurate reading of your weight and I'll put on a clip how much weight I lost if I didn't lose any and or if I gained. Hopefully I didn't. My favorite foods out of the system for breakfast. My favorite breakfast was the muffin. My favorite lunch was the chicken noodle soup type thing. My favorite snack was the milk chocolate pretzels, hands down, but also kind of tied with the vanilla shortbread cookies, depends if I want vanilla or chocolate. And my favorite dinner was the chicken pot pie. It was no comparison. I'm more of a chicken than a beef person. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was very long, especially with all the everyday kind of meal chicken thing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful if you've been interested in trying the Nutrisystem kit. I will have everything I used in the video that's important linked down below in the description. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below if you're going to try it or if you've tried it before. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!